It may look like normal geotextile fabric, but it isn't. It's a woven fabric. It has bilateral tension ability. It has soil separation characteristics. But this fabric also has biaxial grid strength. You notice we did not compact our subgrade. We added the C33 sand to aid in infiltration. If we were to compact it, we would lose infiltration. So this fabric helps us encapsulate our subbase and base, adds integrity via that biaxial grid characteristic, and acts as that soil separator as well. So we've tucked it up the sides. You notice we haven't put any spikes or sod staples or anything in our fabric. We just weighed it down with the Permia units themselves. We don't want to put any holes in this in a permeable pavement application. So I want to peel this back, get it back about two feet. In an application like this, I want to shingle my geotextile fabric so any water running will stay on that surface as it slowly infiltrates into my C33 and subgrade. Okay, that looks good. All right, fellas, come on. Let's get the next piece in. We'll encapsulate this. Okay, get that corner. We want to make sure, fellas, that this is tensioned at 3%. I want as little wrinkles as possible. That's going to give me the maximum strength. Okay, tuck it in. Tuck it in. Are you up on that side? Yep. You guys good? Yep. Work that corner out. Work that wrinkle out in the middle. Can we get that? Pull that out. Okay. Richard, you want to help me fold this over? And let's move our weights further back so that we maintain our level of tension. Okay. You guys go get me two more pieces. Alec, get that corner. Let's get this thing tensioned and weighed down. My way. Good. Let's get another piece. 